Okay, I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to attempt to explain how you're going to remove the 2732 out of the chip carrier. The first time I did this, I completely destroyed the, the legs on the chip trying to get it out because there's little tricks that you need to know. First of all, if you see these little triangles on the top, those are actually springs that hold pressure down on the chip to keep the legs locked in along the inside edge. So in order to, re to remove this, we have to be able to relieve the tension from the legs to get them out of the side of the carrier. The way that I do that is I simply use my fingertips, my index fingers on the bottom of the chip. Okay, I hold it upright, I push up inside, inside of the, the bottom of the chip, pushing up on it, and at the same time I use both of my index fingers, see my thumbs on the top, they help support it, but I use both of the index fingers to then pull out on both sides of the chip carrier. Now if everything works out right, what will happen is, is the little legs will release from inside. You can see on this one already that all of those legs are released out of the chip carrier. Okay, so that side's already done. This side, you can see they're still stuck in there. So what we need to do is again, push up inside. Now I can concentrate on one edge of it. So I can press up inside and then pull out on the edge of the carrier. And if they completely release, now that row's released, that row's released. So then all I have to do is push down on the springs and you'll see that the legs now protrude out the bottom. All I have to do is grab the legs, pull the chip out, and no damage to the chip at all. Okay? I'm sure there'll be lots of questions, but that's the basics. All right? Here's another one that I happen to have. This was an earlier one that used the raised window. Procedure is still the same. Again, I put my fingers up inside, my index fingers, and whenever I push up, then I pull out on the carrier, the sides of the carrier, to release the legs. And you can see these ones in the front are already released. These ones are still a little bit connected. Okay? So you can always go and work side by side. Do one side and then push up and pull out on the other side. And when you got them all released, then all you have to do is push down on the springs. carrier anyways. Good thing I found it. So, and that's it. How to pull the chips out of the carrier. You can see there's the carrier and there is the chip. To put them back in, you always line up the notches. See the notch on the chip with the notch on the chip carrier. You simply line them up, set it in, and you can see it slides right in whenever it's properly lined up and push it right in until they click in place. All the legs are up inside the edge of the carrier. Everything is locked in place, can't go anywhere. And that's it.